Hello everyone, welcome to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob, and this is the 21st episode in our Age of Wonders 3 co-op strategy series. In the last episode, I kind of continued making my push across Orange's land, and I'm closing in on the cave entrance, their last city over here. They did recapture one here. Um, Evan is fighting up here in the north e or northwest. There's a lot of stuff going on over there. Definitely should watch his videos if you want to get his perspective on that. Um, he goes into a lot more detail about what's happening up here in the Northeast. From my perspective, um, I'm getting ready to wrap this turn up, but I didn't quite fit this last battle in uh, down here at the end of my last episode, so I'll be doing that. Um, there are a couple things I want to do before I do that, uh, primarily because of comments that some of you have posted. I'm going to... Uh, it was Mordor Orc, I believe, that suggested I position a unit on this inn in case I need to purchase something in here. It's relatively protected by mountains, so anything that comes this direction, I'd probably see it if it came over the water before it got to me. And I can just leave this unit here, and in case of an emergency, I could buy another Griffin Rider if I absolutely had to have one on, like, immediately. So I'll probably just camp that Swordsman there since I'm not really using him for much of anything else. Um, animals over there I will have to deal with. I could probably send an army out after them, if I wanted to do that. It's not a particularly tough group. Um, you know, I think actually I will do that. I'd like to kind of send some units out that way, at least. Uh, I'll bring these Storm Sisters along to give them a chance to get promoted. I have enough over here, I think. Evan and I are kind of moving northwest towards Anthoria, but... Uh, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five of them out there. I'll send another one out there to join those groups. And then have this last one join these guys and go after those animals, just to get rid of them. I need to try to destroy that thing if I can. But I'm afraid to send my army too far away from the city. But these guys just took out my watchtower, so I want to try to get rid of them if I can. Fortunately, they won't do hardly anything to me, as I am resistant to both their, their frost magic and their poison. So it's not too... shouldn't be too much of an issue. Unfortunately, they are resistant to some of my attacks as well, so... I'm gonna try to get the boar to attack this group over here and then just counter attack is probably the safest option. Um, I don't want my archers to get wrecked so I'm gonna shield them behind these reanimators. And, well those archers are gonna take a hit but fortunately only one so Shield of Dispassion really helps a lot. Alright, now I can get get these guys off of me. Ooh, a critical hit. Very nice. Finish it with the cadaver so I can move her up here. Get a couple of shots off on that ward. Turn around or just outright kill it. That works too. These guys will actually be more effective with their actual melee strike in this situation because of the boar's resistance to uh, to the cold magic. And then the archers... Actually, I'll have those guys just heal themselves and let the archers finish off this boar. A lot of critical hits in that battle. My units are apparently just ecstatic. For now, I'll just be happy to get that group of units out of the way because they were, like I said, they destroyed a watchtower I was trying to build up here, and they've been kind of a nuisance. I am not willing to send this army any further than one turn away from Muldan right now. It's just too risky. Muldan's just too valuable. So I'm going to send them back, probably, until I have enough reinforcements in there to actually send a group out while still defending the city. Okay, back to the main focus of what I've been doing over here is attacking city, finishing off the Dreadnought's hold on this upper land, and preparing to go into the caves. 
Again, a battle I do have to be somewhat careful with on account of the fact that those juggernauts are very tough. Best to spread my units out, especially the Storm Sisters. Um, as long as they're not all getting ganged up on in one group and just getting blown away all at once, it should be okay. Now since they are on defense, technically they did move first, so they can fire at me immediately. I made that mistake in the last episode. Try to avoid making it again. Should have brought this other Storm Sister up first. They might come out and attack me now. We'll see. I don't want to actually trigger the battle until all of my units are ready to help fight, if I can avoid doing that. The Griffin Rider move up to about here, and the horses, I'm going to pressure the wall over here and just see if they kind of come this direction at all. Okay, they are going to open fire. Shield of Dispassion is helping a lot here, too. That's a very small amount of damage that they took from basically direct hits by these things. And I can get a shot off, get a chance to stun. Unfortunately, did not get it. I have to try to see if I can get it with this Storm Sister here. To give her the maximum number of tries, I will have the Shock Trooper go ahead and just knock that gate down. And she can get two more shots off on it. Not getting very lucky with the stuns here, though, unfortunately. She is just too far away to quite do anything about it, so... But that one has to spend a couple turns reloading. In fact, they all do, so I have some time here. Can sneak her around, get another hit. Still no luck with the stuns. And just out of range for that storm sister. Put some pressure on him with the shock troopers, I suppose. The storm sisters will have a lot more opportunities to hit them at the beginning of the next turn, so. And I'll have the griffin riders go, kind of split up and go around on the, the flanks. If I can get them over the wall, put some pressure on those juggernauts, probably better to have the juggernauts shooting at them than the storm sisters until I've gotten most of them stunned. Okay, that looks pretty good. Cycle through all my units real quick. Can move him up a bit further. Horse had a lot of movement left. I'm afraid to phase him onto the wall because he won't be able to get down, so I'll keep phase on hand in case I need that later. In fact, I will go ahead and just attack the gate with the horse because that's the only one that can counter-attack, and at best it's going to hit him with a broadside. Or a ram. Okay, or they could just come running out of the walls at me. Well, their defense is up now, so it's going to make it a bit harder to stun them. Still haven't gotten a single stun in this battle, which is... Well, it's a problem. I'm going to say that she can probably get it on this one, since she can attack it three times. Okay, that one's at least pretty much out of commission now. I'll move the Griffin Rider up on the wall. Actually, I'm going to put him over here and kind of get in that thing's face a little bit. See if I can storm one of these things, or uh, stun one of these things. Now that that one's stunned, I'll try to use this Storm Sister to get a stun in on this. And I did get it. Okay. A little bit of luck. That lets her move forward and hopefully get this one. Okay. Good. That's a little better. And now the Orc Shock Troopers can just go to town on these things. Griffin Rider can join in the fun, too. As long as that one's stuck in the gate, I'll be able to follow up with a hit on the next turn. It'll be some good experience for my units. Of course, I don't need him defending anymore. 
May as well get a hit in there. And that guy can probably finish that one off pretty well on his own. I think that's everybody's movement except for the shock trooper that I kind of stupidly forgot about and left behind. He revived one and rammed, but not a big deal. It doesn't help him out that much. That one will probably revive on the next turn. Let's get the Juggernaut with the Griffin Rider a bit more here. Priority first is to make sure they're both stunned again. Second priority at this point is healing. No luck on the stun there. Let's actually just have him go crazy on that thing. Take that out. Should be able to finish this one off. Actually, I easily can with that Orc Shock Trooper right there. So, we can go ahead and have these guys heal. Anybody else who's damaged needs healing, let them do that. Gotta keep this army in absolutely top shape because I have no idea what I'm gonna run into when I head underground. Unicorn Riders, I think, need slightly more health than they do. It's alright. And I think that's all the Storm Sisters. Yep, that's all that's left is to just finish this thing off. Alright. Now I can focus on going underground and hopefully finding this pesky Dreadnought hero that we just can't seem to figure out where he is. Looks good. Deciding what I want to do with the city. I see it has an enchanting tree, which helps with armored units, two Sphinx temples, uh, which help with pikemen units. Um, probably not bad to leave this as a draconian city as well. I guess I could turn this into an elf city. Because I could make, uh, I guess Elf Union guards would benefit from both armored and the pikemen abilities. Um, so would the dwarves, though. And their pikemen are a little better, a little tougher. Um, I probably won't use either of them very much because it's only a tier 1 unit. But I wouldn't mind having a place where I could just pump out swarms of tier 1s. And having a dwarf city down here wouldn't be bad because they have a lot of other armored units, too, that could benefit from that tree. So I'm going to go ahead and migrate that one. Um, before I do this, I do need to check to see what my alignment's at. It's a positive 75, so I can afford a little bit of negative alignment right now. I will do that. It'll take a little while, but in the long run, that might be better. My army's underground did get this city back. I think I've learned my lesson trying to run off and go east, since my king's army is going to come back through this area anyway. I'm going to leave them here to kind of watch out for the goblins. What, what did I do? What did you do? I went to the next turn, apparently. Didn't intend to, but that reminds me that I need to attack this group. Okay, Evan got a battle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do one too. So I'll recap his in a minute. This was the group of Draconians that I found sailing along the water. And I'm going to try to kill these two juggernauts while they're out here on the water. They have slightly less uh, resistance. With Shield of Dispassion, my unit should handle that hit, the initial hit, pretty well. I do have less defense. So it is going to do significantly more damage, but it shouldn't be enough for them to kill my Storm Sisters as long as I keep the Storm Sisters spread out. If they kill one, I can counterattack with the other two pretty easily. Move this one here and put my hero out on kind of a flank. Oh, 
I like this setup, I think. We'll see what they do. This other unit is a Draconian Elder. Shouldn't be much of an issue. Okay. Alright, they took one out. They did isolate the other Storm Sister, so that's kind of a problem. The Storm Sister will come back with Resurgence, but... Hopefully she doesn't drown, though. I didn't think about that, but I am on the water. Okay, better to get further away from that raptor and still get three hits on it. Okay, I got two stuns, which gives me the opportunity to go after that elder and put some pressure on him. Go ahead and hit the juggernaut while I can. And let's see if he's got a useful spell he can cast. Panic attack, blind, or quick dash. Blind would be pretty useful. Okay. Okay, that puts him in a more difficult position. Now, these things should still have a cooldown. Uh, let's see, one turn. Moving a bit closer. Got another stun. Stun. And I will try to charm this thing. My Draconian Raptor can probably wipe it out pretty easily. I'm going to try to charm it and see if I can take it over. Nope. Okay, well, now I'll get flank hits in on it. That works. Okay. Hero took a hit that I wasn't expecting. Did a bit more damage than I thought it would. Fortunately, didn't lose him. The Storm Sister needs to continue attacking that Juggernaut. I think this uh, Raptor could actually kill it. I'm going to try to just take this one out with the wrapper now. There we go. And she can almost guarantee that that thing will die. Um, I'm going to use this... Yeah, I'm going to use this Storm Sister to heal my, uh, my other hero here. Give him some health back. And have this one just try to kill that thing. There we go. Okay, so my Storm Sister does come back and doesn't drown, so that's encouraging. Um, keeping an eye out for units coming th through from this area right now. This army is going to be primarily in charge of defending this land. I'm actually going to leave all these units back here. I was going to send some back to Muldan, but if the Draconians are going to just keep trickling units into these cities, I need to make sure they're protected. Um, the flyers will help, so I think I could afford to send maybe one Storm Sister back, but I really need... Actually, no, I need all of three of them, because I don't know how many Dreadnoughts they could send this way. If anything, maybe I should send the flyers back to go help out in the northeast or northwest. And that's part of what I was worried about. They've recaptured this city now, too. My king's army can't be bothered to deal with this right now. They've got to go underground and keep hunting down orange. So it's going to be up to these guys to stop the Draconians from getting their former cities back. And they're all going to have to do it together. They shouldn't have a problem with three Storm Sisters with Inflict Stun. Plus, I do have that Chthonic Guardian here. On the next turn, it's going to turn into a Ghoul Chthonic Guardian after having been with this hero here. Once it moves, there we go. And once it does, it'll get the healing from all of those Storm Sisters who are going to have their work cut out for them on the next turn healing all these units. Okay, with this Draconian Flyer over here, I'm, for the moment, going to send it kind of to this city, probably. How many turns away is that? It's like one, two, three. Well, from there is the important spot. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From this point, it could defend this city or get pretty close to the other one. I think I'm going to focus on these two cities here, since the Draconians seem to be coming from the water. I would see them coming from a while, quite a ways away. And this one, I'll, I'll leave him there for now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these flyers as I get more. Like I said, I'll probably send them back eventually once I feel like I've got a firm grip on all of the Draconians' land here. Okay, I'm going to zoom back in to help out the frame rate a little bit. Okay, um, something I meant to do before ending my last turn. Borbali suggested that I get the Desecration spell. Could be really useful in the right situation. Um, it would help me out against the Theocrat quite a bit. But um, the downside to it is that if I use it in a battle that Evan also has units in, his devout units will suffer the penalty from it. Um, it might still be okay, because Evan and the enemy would both be getting the penalty, but I would be getting a bonus, so kind of overall it still does benefit us as a whole. But I'd rather not put make Evan's units vulnerable if that can be avoided, so... If I do get into battles with the Theocrat alone, that would be very nice. And definitely worth the one turn to research it in case I need it. So I can interrupt researching Age of Death for a turn just to get that. Okay, my king did level up again. Now I've been forgetting to get... Oh, he gets inflict... He can get invoked death now. I was thinking I could get, oh, Inflict Ghoul Curse is here, and that's why I haven't seen it. I haven't been paying attention to it. It's cost seven to get. Ooh, that's a tough one. Invoke Death would be really cool. But I think Inflict Ghoul Curse would be better in the long run. Germantic Aura. Oh, that's kind of cool. But it only applies to Undead, so I don't really need that one. Undying would be pretty cool. I suppose. Um, man, lots of good things I could get here. I'm going to pass up on picking any upgrades just yet. I'm going to hold out for that Inflict Ghoul Curse. I think they'd be really good. Unless there is something else I could get. <coughs> Excuse me. Unless there is something else I could get for a little less. Evan took out another group of brown units up here. Managed to uh, he managed their lucky ability fairly well, all things considered. He killed some exalteds, but that doesn't really matter. Another thing I was saying about desecration uh, that Morbali pointed out to me is that the extra resistance on my units would really help against the uh, inflict stun ability from the warlord too. So, like I was saying, it'd be a nice thing to have. Okay, for the first time, I'm going to poke my head in underground and see what's down here. I'm very curious. Uh, there is one ogre. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, I probably don't really need to do manual combat for this one, but I'm just going to do it anyway really fast here. Just out of an abundance of caution. And in case all of my Storm Sisters stuns fail. Okay, your majesty, you can go get the finishing hit. Unless you can seduce it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take that too. There is a large army of Theocrat, or of Juggernaut stuff down here. It's going to get wrecked. Hey, I got this brand new ogre. I wonder if the city over here is undefended. Aw, there's a Juggernaut in there. Well, I'm going to have to go down there and get that city carved out of there, because there's no other way they could get in after it. Hey. 
Evan uh, captured another brown city over here. He had some of his units go down, but they just resurged because all the units that he has in those armies have resurgence. Brown's got other units coming this way, but Evan's just going to continue pushing, I think. They got a lot of stuff coming back, though. Are you concerned at all about your army getting surrounded by more than it can handle and getting killed? I mean, those are two really good armies, but... It's a lot of units in that area. Bob, if that happens, this game's not winnable anyway. So oh. no, I'm not at all concerned. Well, that's depressing. Hey, I spotted another little orange scout down here. Oh, they got a boat sailing around. Galleon warship headed west along the southern coast. Could get up here and cause some trouble, but probably not too much. Okay, I think my king's army is still sitting on this cave entrance. Let's send them over here. Move the others down, take out this army of machines that's sitting right here. Preferably with a unit that has a bit more movement than the others. Underground, that's going to be the Griffin Rider. Alright. Can't underestimate those cannons. Alright, the focus has to be on stunning the machines. The other infantry can deal with everything else if I can stun the machines. This one let its guard down over here, so I'm going to try to get that. And I got a little lucky there. Uh, it was only a 30-something percent chance. 36, I think. So go ahead and get in that thing's face a little bit. Um, this cannon also let its guard down. Two hits in on this one, 42%. Got it. The shock troopers go up. I don't want to attack it with the shock troopers just yet. I want to make sure that they don't die because I don't have resurgence and I can't afford to be losing them. Okay, this storm sister is a little bit weak. Might let her heal and then counter attack on the next turn. I'm going to try to stun the Juggernaut with this one. Odds are not good. I'll have her defend there for now. kind of want to have these things let their guard down. I guess I could go get in its face. The Unicorn Riders. My King can revive a couple units if he has to. Go ahead and just get the Draconian Musketeer stunned and out of the way if I can. Well, I didn't stun him. I'll just plan on reviving these guys. I'll use them as bait. these others up to where they could get a lot of retaliation hits in on that juggernaut whenever it does open fire. And I'll have her just heal herself now. The king's gonna probably need to start heading this way too to pick those unicorn riders up when they inevitably die. is good. Yep. Let's see what they do. Oh, they tried to kill the shock trooper, but were not successful. So I need to remember to revive that unit. Try to stun that flame tank before it can cause any more trouble. Again, not successful, unfortunately. So that's not an issue anymore. Let me get my Storm Sisters up a bit closer and see if this group can help with the Juggernaut. 
which seems to be a bit more resistant to my stuns than the other ones have been. There we go, got it. Get that cannon out of the way. Gotta remember these things do have explosive death, so I'd rather not be standing right next to it when it goes off. I'll go ahead and have her hit it from a range. Yeah, she did not finish it or stun it. Well, somebody will have to take the fall. Might as well be this guy. He'll be all right. It does do some damage to the halflings too, which are about to get wrecked. Although the orc shock troopers have so little health. I will at least kind of be smart about this, go around, get a flank attack with war cry instead of just outright charging them. Yeah, just make sure I kill them. I get absolutely massacred. And I want to make sure I get my unicorn rider back. A bit stuck behind other things, my own units actually. Can't quite reach him. Just go around. Go dish out some damage to this thing. Okay. Make sure I still have full 12 units that I didn't lose anything else that I didn't see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then that would be the 12. Okay. So I'm all good. Oh, you jerks. Alright. Well, my king can only revive one unit on a turn, so I'm gonna have to stun... I'm gonna have to stun this thing again. I'm gonna intentionally do as little damage to it as possible at this point. Come on, give me that stun. buys me another turn here. I'm going to reposition my units on some of their dead units to prevent them from picking them back up if I can. So like, uh, let's see. That was mine. That was theirs. Flame tank died. Over here. I can get the shock trooper up first just in case anything weird happens. That's the one that I definitely don't want to lose. And then she can get over there and give it some much needed healing. I'll just wipe this thing out. Position him on the cannon. Uh, they can't actually revive the, the... They can't bring the flamers back just because they explode, I guess. But the cannon actually leaves a court, so I will sit right on top of that. Anybody else got useful spells? Since I don't need him to stay there, I can bring this group up and, oh, actually not heal him. have any healing left and yep just need to wait one more turn and then get my other unit back up should be okay there we go this guy come out here where he can be healed by these units too they desperately need it And I think that's everybody. I don't think these guys took any damage. It's just this group over here that got a little beat up. I guess I could send this shock trooper over here and get patched up a bit more too. That ought to do it. At this point, my shock troopers can just go nuts and smash this thing. 
that takes out that army. Now I have the decision to make, which direction do I go? I could probably send like one Storm Sister south to help this troll take that city without having to devote my whole army into that direction. But... I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't take any chances here. I'll send my king stack back and we'll just keep everybody pretty well guarded. It's only going to take like one extra turn to grab that city. So I don't know what else is lurking down here. Bit of an unrelated battle to do, but one that I should do anyway. Yeah, my cadaver is still pretty beat up. I'll give that just another turn for him to heal. Continuing to move units down to the front line, and Evan and I have some work to do around Anthoria. He's waiting for my army to catch up so we can take that city. Evan continues to slaughter brown units down here in the southwest, um, picking them off in small groups. Seems to be much the same way he picked off a lot of them in his territory. They're just kind of running everything they have back in this direction, but they're not really doing it in any particularly organized way. And <laughs> I just realized that they have an army of six gold rank galleon warships trapped in this little lake. <laughs> Seven, actually. That's kind of a waste. But as long as they want to keep them sitting there draining their money every turn, that's fine with me. Okay, so what's the plan with Anthoria? Are you waiting for me to move up and help fight that battle? I can't quite make it there on this turn, but... Oh, you can't? Yeah, but it doesn't... Well... Well, can you get any units up? Get, yeah. Like, get your fast units up? Because yeah, I, I could, could take it that. myself. I just would like to have a little support. Yeah, that's fine. I can get a few of them up there. Let's see. I can't remember if I was... I think I was going to send all three of my stacks. Oh, I keep forgetting that I can't do that. I can't remember if I was going to send all three of my stacks up there or just two to help with the fighting over here. I guess with Brown, kind of, a lot of his units are heading back, which is kind of what we needed. So we can probably afford to put a little more pressure in this area. Alright, let me get a few fast ones up there. That would be the Shock Trooper and that hero. Who else? Fortunately, the Shathonic Guardian can't quite make it to this party. Yeah, it can. Oh, right. It can just fly it's got over. flying. Everybody else is going to have to wait. Alright, that's fine. This will work. And then once we get the line of sight from the city, we can decide whether to pull back at the beginning of next turn or bring yeah, more units up. That's a good idea. You. You give this guy a nourishing meal. Yep. I could also give a rallying cry to all of your exalteds if you wanted me to. Might actually be better if I just suicide that guy <laughs> and get a nourishing meal. Here, give this one a nourishing meal and I will suicide the other one. <laughs> That's always the best idea, <laughs> to kill off the weak. <laughs> <laughs> Let them grow back stronger. <laughs> okay. You may have a nourishing meal. 
but not from the shock trooper. <laughs> and let's see here. All friendly units within four hexes. Well, that would be right about here. You may all be inspired by my glorious screaming. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting what inspired actually does. Oh, it's just more happiness. Explain why it doesn't affect undead. Um, go forward. That's pretty much the plan for that unit. Everybody charge! Except for that necromancer who should still hide behind something because I'm scared. I have lost enough necromancer heroes in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make that mistake again. see where he can move these units. You should go there and just be a general pain in the butt. <laughs> as long as this guy can't hit my orc from behind, I'll have him climb the wall. I don't know what I'm going to do with those two heroes. I don't think there's anything I really need to do. Can you finish off the untouchable? Yeah, I could do that. Just barely. <laughs> Steel. You do not scare me. Steel and Shatonic Guardians is awesome. <laughs> you have anything else you need to do? Because I can finish this right now, if not. Um, could heal my Chthonic Guardian, but it doesn't really matter that much. He'll heal, he'll heal on the next turn anyway. I got enough Storm Sisters around. Okay. I see no units. No, wait, no, there's a teal troll. Let me bring my ships up. I am sending more units to reinforce Engranost, so it probably wouldn't be the end of the world if my if I did send another army up that way. The Manticore Riders seem distracted enough. We could probably do a lot of damage to Brown and Teal. Maybe even take pressure off your capital. Well, they can get pretty much any of those units up, but they can only get two stacks in. 
Because I don't think they can get anything to the tile to the northeast of that city. Which city are you talking about? Anthoria. Were you consent thinking about them counterattacking it on the next turn? Yeah. I don't think they would split their army up quite like that to go counterattack it. I think they'd come in a bigger group. I think we've got another turn to prepare. I'm gonna have to reorganize my units a little bit for the city's defense anyway. Because the rest of them are slow. Just leaving that longbow in the capital for now. Probably have other longbows being produced down here that are really, really good. For now, I'm going to let them pile up until I get a stack of them, and then I'm going to probably make another push to see what, what's in that city. Actually, he can join up with somebody on this turn. Probably that stack there. I'm gonna go ahead and bring, at least start moving my other army up. Because they can always run back on the next turn if they need to, and then hopefully we'll get a better sense of what Teal's plan is at that point. These guys have got some work to do. I really need to get Orange out of that territory. They're just being a nuisance. Orange has just been a huge nuisance this whole game. Oh, look at what's coming down here. There is a Theocrat army headed my way. Just in time for me to just get disjunction, though. That'll be nice. Or I'm not disjunction, desecration. We'll see what they do. For now, I suppose I'll hold ground in the city. I can move pretty far out if they come into this area. I should be able to surround them. But just in case, I'm gonna get this army up a little bit further that way. Shouldn't underestimate them either. They do have a Shrine of Smiting in there, and my units are insanely weak to that, especially with Armageddon cast right now. Alright, for the moment, still going to hold ground at Muldan with some of these units. And we'll continue to send Storm Sisters that way. To the west. Because I have no idea when Brown might decide to turn around and get really aggressive if he gets desperate. And if he sends all those Manticore Riders back this way, that would be a mess. Sorry about that. Quick delay there. I don't really know what's over there. <laughs> I'll just back the flyer off with these guys for the moment. I can always retake that city if I need to. Alright. Well, that wraps up my turn. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. What am I doing? I'm not casting a spell. That's not a mistake I can afford to make. You know, since I'm summoning these things down here, I'll go ahead and cast Scales of Fortune on this city. Make them a little bit more likely to do critical hits. Actually, quite a bit more likely. Slows my summoning of the Neshtathonic Guardian down by a turn, but it's not a bad thing to have, and I have plenty of mana. Okay, now I'm good. It's doing something. There we go. 
two items have arrived. You know what? I'm gonna focus on getting my army in a reasonable order here. I have two heroes, a Chthonic Guardian. Chthonic Guardian I'm gonna pair with Necromancer and that guy. So these two will go on ahead. Him there. These ones here. That gets them in some sort of order to help defend in case Teal turns around. And I'm going to leave this group here for the moment just to see if they need to turn around for some reason and go back and help Angrenost. Okay. A couple people got blow pipes. Select new research, and I'll go back to Age of Death. Did get raised dead. I'm... There's an option. I should at least check and see what that does. Okay, that's like a mass cadaver resurrect spell, basically. Age of Death is still something I'd rather be working towards. Take a while, but if we survive that long, that will make the rest of the game so much easier. see this dragon army has been sitting in the exact same spot prob probably like 20 turns now or something so I'm pretty sure I don't have to worry about them at this point they're just gonna sit there I should probably avoid provoking them though it's a different <laughs> army I might get them moving around again okay now this group I think is all healed up and in good enough shape to go ahead and get rid of this quarry get a little extra production in this city out here Maybe I can actually start making something out here. Probably should. Come on, go ahead and attack. There you go. Aw, oh, they're gonna play defense. I was hoping they'd just come after me. That's fine. Now everybody in this army is a ghoul, which is helpful. I'll heal faster that way, I think. Okay, Tigrans, what are you gonna do? formation, but I'll just keep those bikes in the front. Well, they moved their uh, chariot right in between both. Okay. <laughs> they just absolutely suicided their chariot on me. That's fine, I guess. Okay, these cheetahs are in the way, so I want to do something about them. Nice strong hit with the crossbows on them, and I think should be able to finish them off with the cadavers. Yeah. Now you can just get off of me. Wanted to leave him with plenty of movement to get out here and go after these guys. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> they will probably just not do anything on the next turn, which will actually be good for me. It'll give me a chance to heal. It's gonna pounce you. Oh. Did not. It could have though. That's a good point. Don't want to let you heal. Yum yum corpses. Can the reanimator make it up there? No, that's okay. We'll heal him instead. And you can just stab her in the face. Gets a little more production for the city. Uh, Ring of Ruby Ring of Heat Deflection might be useful for anyone going up against the Theocrat right now, as well as a Thick Leaf Shield of the Optimistic. I will take those and check with my heroes to see who needs those. Again, a ring that gives heat resistance and a shield that gives overall resistance. 
That guy's shield is not very good. I will send those both to this necromancer. Getting lost over here. There we go. I really want to power that guy up. Level him up a bit. Could use another powerful necromancer running around helping me out. Okay, let's take a look at the city now. I have, I've kind of had this on merchandise for a while, but I'm starting to feel like there are things I could be doing with, tra with this Draconian city that could be a lot more helpful. Um, the Heart of the Blight doesn't really do me any good. I don't know if I even need to clear that, but... It does add 10 channeling points. That's right. Well, that's actually something that'd be really useful right now. I should go get that. Um, the Ancient Ruins would also be helpful, helping get to Age of Death faster. Let's just see what I can build in here. This is a good city for support units, good city for pikemen units. Uh, that spirit damage would be kind of nice. I think I will use this for making... Probably for making some more support units, because they would have heal and dead. Actually, I might make uh, reanimators, draconian reanimators in this city. I can do that. I'll start bo boosting production and just kind of build this city up. Okay, I want the extra channeling points like now, so that's what this army is going to go do next. Should have been paying more attention to this city in the past. I've been almost kind of ignoring the dwarves up here, but... I said probable victory, and I just realized I went into battle against a whole bunch of fire units. Eh, still, what What else do I have this army here for, right? If they die, they can be easily replaced. Oh, that hellhound's kind of sticking out from the rest, so that should be pretty easy to lure out. Get my crossbows in position to get a shot off on it, too. Leave him on the flank. There we go. Let's see what they do there. Probably hold ground. Yep. So I will just move up and shoot these things a bunch. Despaired them. Alright, you're moving. Oh, you jerks. Get off of my crossbows. Keeps them a little bit further away from the other units. Moving them back like that. Uh, gotta do something about that horse. Actually, that horse is just gonna charge right into this group and probably get destroyed. Can at least shoot him. Back these guys up into more of that kind of a curve formation and let these things move in a bit closer. Good. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted you to do. Frost damage will tear them apart pretty fast. Steel can keep them alive. Okay, have him get him out of the way. Move up here with the crossbows. Get a flank attack on this guy. Get another. Nope, can't get another flank attack. Wait, yes, I can. They're going to blow up, though. I'd rather try to revive them if I can. And if those things blow up, I won't be able to do that. Well, I was hoping they'd use... 
Actually, that doesn't really matter. Hopefully they can withstand the explosion that they're about to endure. Good luck, guys. Yay! Everybody <laughs> lives. Okay, so, yeah, that's another 10 casting points per turn. That's nice. That takes care of what that army was doing there. I should go get that watchtower back, but first I am going to run back up here and get that ancient ruins, clear that research, and in general just kind of finish off what I've been working on with this city. Everybody to the front line. Got a, a conversion over here. Got a Heil Phalanx that was wandering around by itself, so add that to his army that continues to crusade along. It looks like they're going to go after these war breeds. They are just not forming their units up into organized groups, and that's their capital city right there that he's closing in on. That's a pretty big deal if we can get that. Oh my gosh, the brown horde that is closing in on Ven Vern Vernamaden, whatever the city was behind you. Jeez. Well, this is our chance to do some damage to deal stuff invading you, I guess. Maybe you can convert that hero, that would be nice. Oh, you get there. Looks like he'll go ahead and do it. Oh, what is she doing here? Oh yeah, that's the second stack that's getting added to this city. Okay, and what I was talking about a second ago, Evan did get that hero converted, so he's got a dwarf sorcerer now helping him out. His army actually just keeps growing the closer he gets to the capital. Now that's going to be a fairly large battle. He's got quite a few Manticore riders in there. I think his army would be fine though. He'd have to be very careful. Yeah, something else down there, miscellaneous. Okay, so catch up through all those notifications. Archer the city now has five archers in it one more and I'll go running up so they can wait for this turn and Well, that's not a good sign There are Lords of the Deep Dangerously close to Las Emption and not really a whole lot I can do about it You know that might be a city that I can afford to lose but if those guys keep moving in this area don't want to lose any more. I would, I should probably really try to get it back or hold it. Because the extra units I'm building here for the moment, I think Engranost is in pretty good shape with Brown being off of our backs. I think I can afford to send some units up, try to help deal with this. Maybe get it back. There's Lords of the Deep in there, though, and there, there are two of them, so both elite rank. That's not going to be an easy army to kill with just a handful of tier 2 units, especially without Inflict Stun. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I guess I could summon a Chthonic Guardian to help out, but that's going to be another two turns, so I'll have to think about how to get that city back. I'm not going to be able to hold it. All right, these guys are all ready to go. Uh, Juggernaut army closing in just in time for me to wipe them out. Hopefully this is the group that was attacking up here, but I think these units seem like they came from a different angle, unless they sailed across the water there. 
Anyway, it's about time I got these cities back. So, let's do it. So I definitely don't want to lose my Chthonic Guardian. I need to be kind of careful with that. I'm going to use the Flyer as bait since I can just keep making more of them and hopefully they attack that instead. I can't revive it or anything, but I'm more concerned about keeping my Storm Sisters and my uh, Chthonic Guardian alive. Speaking of Storm Sisters, where is... Oh, there she is. Let's track of one of them. Probably get the stun on that thing, but it can't. It has to reload. Still, it'd probably be worth it to try to stun it. This thing might target that group now, but the cannon can't shoot again right away. Alright, you. You need to get patched up really badly. I would prefer not to. I prefer to spread him out a little bit. Keep him from bunching up with the Storm Sisters too much. So what I'll do is I'll heal him there, heal him there. Move these units up to kind of get in the way a little bit. Don't want to take the chance of losing the Goblin. This unit's probably okay right here for now. Fire resistance will help against that Juggernaut to a certain extent. Chthonic Guardian's almost back in tip-top shape, so send that forward and have him. I might try to charm that Dwarf Musketeer, but I'm going to wait until it lets its guard down. My units are all fairly well spread out. We'll see who that Juggernaut decides to target. thing is that cannon that continues to run away. Now let's see if the goblin can charm those guys. Nope. Can't catch the cannon with the draconian raptor, but he can get closer than anything else. So I'm going to send him out there. Storm Sisters should be able to stun that stun that juggernaut. Nope. Come on. Get him. There we go. That gives her an opportunity to heal. Probably will have her heal the raptor, actually. Draconian Flyer. Yeah, I'll do that. Then he can go in and get some hits in on this thing. Not much I thought a Guardian could go end this guy's miserable existence. He can't really go anywhere now. One the turn there. Let's see what the cannon decides to do. I thought he might do that. My goblin's pretty darn well beat up. I saw that at the last second. That storm sister will come back. Not a big deal, but I want to get that goblin some healing if I can. In fact, I cannot because the storm sisters have already used healing. Well, that thing let its guard down. I could do a lot of damage to it with the cannon or with the Raptor. I want to make sure that I can stun this thing. Okay, I didn't stun it, so that became the priority to kill here. We can try one more time. Okay, well, she just outright killed it with a critical hit. That 
thing is going to... I'll be alright. Just have the goblin take this thing out with a short bow. Platonic Guardian can go finish that cannon off. There we go. Okay, so that takes care of that little group. Get them back a little closer to the road here. Bunch them all up together, and then I think this army is in good shape to go push onwards and clear this area. Needs a lot of healing, though. The Storm Sisters, it's a good thing I brought all three back, just from the sheer amount of healing that they seem to need. I don't have to worry about Draconian units coming from that direction anymore. There's nothing over there other than Brown, and Evan's got them pretty well distracted, so... I'm going to add some flyers to these guys' army and just keep pushing forward with them. I'll get another one in that city on the next turn as well. My army down here, well, it's pretty much just going to go take this thing out. The king has cave crawling, I think. see it in there. There's so many abilities, though. Uh, I'll go ahead and just go with the Griffin Rider. I think that's probably going to be... What type of terrain is that fertile? I think he'll end up with more movement at the end. It's another city with a vault of knowledge. Could be useful for archers, but I'm already migrating one, and I don't want my alignment to fall any lower, so I'll leave it as Draconian. spread out here and see what this thing does. It will probably go after this group that I've conveniently bunched up in the middle of the map for it. Yep. Okay, three hits. Alright, and then this battle's pretty much over at this point. Other than some minor patching up. Probably made sure I could stun this again. 42% chance three times, not too not too worried about that. Alright guys, have fun. Whoops. Wrong space. I guess I may as well give my king experience for shooting at this with something. Actually, I should probably give my king the kill if I can. He's got a shock wand in here somewhere, I think. No, he doesn't. Well, that's alright. We'll just give him a little more XP and then finish it off. Okay. Now since this ogre is still technically a living unit, not undead, I'm just going to have it park on that city. It'll regenerate health and keep any little scouts or anything from taking it back behind me. Maybe I'll have him move up and guard a different city later. And I'm just going to turn this one into a ghoul. That's actually a dwarf city. I can make boar riders there with some of the spring of life upgrades. It would be entirely terrible. Okay, and this looks like a dead end over here. I see rock cavern walls, more rock cavern walls. So that pretty much answers the question as to where I need to go next. It's going to be straight west, along a road that presumably heads out this direction towards Swatsek. Um, also, there is some connection to Farrakh over here that I'll have to deal with, but with this teal army in this area, right up here, 
I can't afford to take these units away to do anything. Especially since Moldan does not currently have a good enough defense to probably stop an army like that by itself. I do want to make sure that I can get them, yes, I can get them onto that fort if I need to on the next turn. Uh, should have upgraded that to a Storm Fortress a while ago, but... Yeah, I'll do that. I got the money for it. Everyone else is good, I think. Is your current plan here at um, Anthoria to just hold ground and see what Teal throws at us? If you think what we have is strong enough to hold it, yes. Alright. In that case, I'm going to... I want to get my make sure my Chitonic Guardian is that is in there, and my other army that has the Gold Rank Storm Sisters that's lagging behind a bit. I'm gonna make sure they can get up there too. Probably have my Druid's army standing in the back, so I suppose I will do something like this. And we'll see how they attack us. Okay, just a couple of other little notifications. I already knew about that one. Uh, Draconian City can discuss join offer. I would rather just have them stay as a vassal right now. So I can't really do a whole lot with that city. Um, I'm afraid that Teal might come by with some like random scout and take it. That's the problem with turning a vassal into one of your own cities. If they do that, there w if I buy it, there will be no defenders in there. And I don't want that either, so... I'm going to have them just stay a vassal for the time being. And that uh, that wraps this one up. That is the end of my turn, and it's about time we wrapped up this episode. So zoom out, get a perspective on the world map here. Um, basically, to summarize, big news on my end. I finally pushed into the underground and have an army capable of holding these territories. I'll be able to get Irigor and Arberg back shortly, I would think. Um, and then Evan pushing on Brown, which it's going to be really interesting to see what happens in the next episode um, with this final big battle over Brown's capital. Evan's got a respectable army here, very two very powerful armies. So, And then just this mess that's behind him. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, uh, that's about it for this one, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Sorry for the delayed episode. We had July 4th yesterday, did not record, so we're kind of catching up today. We'll still get two episodes out this week as far as I know. Um, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate all your comments. And I will try to do my best with more comments. I kind of sometimes, uh, I, when somebody comments on something, I don't always remember who said it. I'm trying to actually write that down so I can give credit to who gave me the ideas that I had. So I'm putting that on my tablet and trying to keep a log of, of all of that. Try to give people credit for what they deserve. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next episode.